Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Draft Day Sports College Football 2023 with the Boston College Eagles and uh, your Eagles through uh, nine weeks, eight for us. We are five and three right now. Um, if we take a look at the ACC division, uh, you can see or the ACC conference. We are currently two and one in the conference. Uh, all of it, the schedule is all sorts of weird where we played the first eight games of the season at home and the last four games of the season are all going to be on the road. So we are taking on Louisville, North Carolina, Wake Forest, and who's our last game against? I can't remember the order. Louisville, Wake Forest, NC State in North Carolina. So if we look at the standings, Louisville is two and four. Then we take on Wake Forest, which is going to be a tough one. Wake Forest absolutely blitzes us year after year. Then we have NC State, who's three and five, and we have North Carolina, who's four and three. So, I mean, two and two. We can go two and two down the stretch and finish the season with seven wins. That gives us a bowl, right? And we also, you know, as crazy as it sounds, we're two and one in the conference. If we can manage to beat Wake Forest, we would then have the tiebreaker on both Florida State and Wake Forest, and currently we have a better uh, conference uh, winning percentage than Clemson. So the, <laughs> the division title, the conference title, isn't completely out of uh, out of uh, uh, out, out of the question yet. So we got to do some recruiting, and then we'll get to Simmon. I don't think I did any of my recruiting. Oh, I did all my recruiting. Okay, all right. So let's go ahead and sim. This first one's huge, right? This first game is huge. You know, six and three looks a whole lot better than five and four. So let's see what happens in Louisville. First highlight is for the Cardinals. And they get a touchdown. Yep. We're down 10 nothing here in the first. Ooh, this is not this is not started out the way we would have liked. looks like we're getting crushed by the Cardinals here. Well, it's only 24 to 3, so we got a shot. Now oh, it's in the fourth. So as I said, as I said, uh, uh, 6 and 3 looks a whole lot better than 5 and 4, but we're going to be 5 and 4 coming out of this. Yep, we don't even need to watch the end of this one. 41-13 is the final. Uh, defense gives up 500 yards. We give up 282 yards on the ground. Uh, that ain't going to get it done. Uh, did Day get hurt? He's doubtful with blurred vision. So we went to Eddie Steinberg, the freshman. He threw for a buck 43 and a touchdown. Um, yeah, I mean, offense was okay. I mean, we put up 340 yards of offense, but... Uh, uh, couldn't force any turnovers. Uh, we didn't turn the ball over, but uh, yeah, we just couldn't get the job done. So we're five and four. Still, just need one win to become bowl eligible. We got Wake Forest coming up here, so we should be five and five coming out of this week. Would be my would be my assumption. Uh, so we pick up Lawrence Botker and Darwin Burrow. So we pick up a wide receiver and a defensive tackle. Some players that aren't happy. We're five and four. I mean, we're losing. We, we've, you know, we lost, but we're, you know. All right. So these guys now have offers so we can hide. Why are they even on here? Hargrove still with no interest. Um, so we have one scholarship offer. He's being recruited by Ohio State. Well, we're not going to worry about him then. What about Rick Taylor? I don't know who he's being recruited by, but uh, we're going to offer him a scholarship given that he is a local kid. Go ahead and take that away and put that in here. John Gomes, we don't know who he's being recruited by. Um, where else do we want to... Ernest Hill, we got hot. Scott Shaw is hot. Navarrete, and then we got a bunch of people that are cool. Free safety, free safety, guard. We need a guard. 
Uh, let's actually, let's make sure we've invited everybody to a game. We should have two hours left, yeah. So we will, phone call, phone call. Uh, we've already scouted everyone. Um, so we'll just kind of run with this and see what happens. So yeah, we've got another game that I anticipate we're going to get destroyed in, but who knows? Who knows? However the season goes, it will be a success. We we beat our first ranked team. Um, I don't know that we're going to end up with a winning record here. Um, we're going to be 5-5 five and five here in just a minute, I would assume. Our offense is not particularly good. We were getting it done defensively early in the season, but not so much here. An interception. 27-3. Yes, two really bad weeks in a row. All right, let's just go ahead and finish the sim. 34-10. Yeah, and we're down to our third string quarterback at this point, too. So I, I don't know what you can. I mean, we only gave up 324 yards. I mean, their quarterback was only 11 of 20 passing. We just couldn't get any offense going. That's what happens when you're down to QB number three. So we're five and five now. We've got NC State and North Carolina to finish things up. Picked up five more recruits, a defensive end, uh, defensive end, tight end, strong safety, guard, free safety. Cool. That's a lot of recruits. Right now we have the number 20 recruiting class in the country. Uh, so Rick Taylor. Yeah, I mean, he's out of BC. I mean, or he's out of Massachusetts, so why not go heavy into him? Hargrove still with no interest. It's weird. We're still the only one to offer him a scholarship. Uh, let's offer him a scholarship. And we've got 5K in recruiting that we can dump into Gomes. Oh, Wabonzi Valley High School. I used to live in apartments that were right across the street from Wabonzi Valley High School. So I think... Need to put some more back into he's cool, he's cool, he's warm. Uncommitted. Anybody with one offer or no offers? He was the one who was yeah, was was being looked at by Ohio State, I believe. only got two offers and we absolutely need a absolutely need a, a quarterback so let's go back here I can't I mean it's it's not gonna work I mean he's gonna sign with somebody else I 100 he's gonna sign with somebody else 100 um, invite to game facility tour and let's just Now, let's put it into him. I don't think it's going to matter. He's going to end up with like 12 offers after this week. We need a win. We, we need a win. I certainly don't want to end this 5-7. and seven. That would be really, really disappointing. We get a big play there to Cortez Taylor. Hopefully, he goes the distance. We're in the second quarter already. First highlight in the second quarter. We're up 10-3. Looks like they're going to get a touchdown here. They do. Looks like they're going to get another touchdown. Ugh. 
Ugh. We're going to lose again. Yep. We're going to finish season five and seven. That was so, so incredibly disappointing. Things were looking so up for us. We throw an interception in the end zone. Yeah, we're still on our backup quarterback. That's part of the issue here. We turned it over twice. Yeah, their passing game was just unbelievable. They put up almost 600 yards of offense. All right, well, this has turned into a four-game losing streak for us, which sucks. So we will play this game against North Carolina because we do need to win this game to become bowl eligible. Uh, we lose out on three players. We pick up another guard. The number 24 class in the country. Got six offers now. Yeah, I mean, he's... I almost... I feel like... Yeah, and the problem is... Let's go after Ricky Hop because I think we're going to need a quarterback here. So that was the way a waste of, of a week, but that's fine. It's fine. Let's put 10K into there. Neither of these guys. Yeah, we can take the money back here and hide him. Scholarship, scholarship, hide, hide. Yeah, if they don't have any interest in us at this point, they're not going to. So... Yeah, we took all of the uh, the interest away from Navarrete. Now he's not interested in us. Um, uncommitted, the best uncommitteds with the Tim Blake, forty fourth overall. I mean, sure, he's. Oops. Um, David Cannon. I like that AAA. Sure. Targets, and let's make sure we five ten, five ten, five ten, fifteen, twenty, five ten, fifteen, twenty. Uh, we got ten hours to spend, so let's. I mean, are still nothing from Hargrove, which is really weird, but whatever. Um, Monroe Bear. That is a name. That is a name. We will offer him a scholarship. And we will put 5K into recruiting. We'll do some scouting. <clears throat> and we will play this game against North Carolina. Are we healthy? Do we have our starting quarterback back for this one? Probable. Look at all these quarterbacks on our roster, guys. Uh, all right. Well, we've lost three in a row. Um, recruiting class is better. Recruiting class is certainly better, but uh, well, let's back out for a second. Uh, sound off. Now we can play the game. All right, here we go. Victory makes us bowl eligible. A loss leaves us five and six and on the outside looking in. This big run right off the bat by Bolin. I would like to just keep the ball on the ground as much as we possibly can. We're going to pass it here, though. Pass is complete for a first down. Okay, so we do have Day back out there. So at least we have our starting quarterback back out there. Fullback run up the middle for nine. Passing complete, third and one. Hand it off this time, pick up the first. Run to the left, gets us five. A completes the pass first down. We're at the 
20. Dave throws that one away. Second and 10. Third and nine. Fumble recovered by us. We're going to kick a field goal or attempt a field goal here. Benavides makes it. So I turned the sound off. You guys saw that, or maybe you didn't see it. I don't know. But at any rate, the sound's back on. We are up 3 nothing in the first. Pass complete for five. Unsportsmanlike. Puts him right out at midfield. That didn't take long. Down. Defensive pass interference, first down. Wow, they are inside our 20 in a heartbeat here. Second nine, and I think they get in right here. Yep. All right. Well, I know we're still early in this game, guys, but I can tell you that if we end up this season five and seven, uh, this could be the final episode. Um, I just, the uh, holding penalty, yeah. I just feel like I did everything I could and, you know, the wheels fall off right at the very end. I just, I don't get it. One. So we'll see what happens. I mean, we win a bowl game and, you know, maybe, you know, maybe I, I have a bit different uh, feel on things. But, um, yeah, you know, we, we've lost a bunch of games in a row now. So it's, it's just frustrating. So we complete a pass. We get called for taunting. So it's now first and 25. Awesome. We had the ball on their side of the field and now it's second and 23. Completed pass for 11. Defensive pass interference. So something good happening for us right there. I'll take that. First and 10. Yeah, I would rather, I mean, I have a, some of these series are coming to an end here over the next few weeks as out of the park baseball uh, gets going. But the reality is I, I'm having fun playing this. I'm not having fun losing over and over and over again, though. So there's another field goal attempt by Benavides good so we're down by a point but yeah I and mean, if we can somehow manage to win this game and then maybe we get into a bowl and you know who knows but uh it's the same play but um yeah to start the season three and oh to be five and three and now all of a sudden to be looking at a losing record yet again is uh is is uh, frustrating is the wrong word it's a game i don't get frustrated by a game it's annoying i should say and we're having absolutely no luck here against uh against north carolina defensively they are chewing us up we need a turnover we need something big here Third and 7 Another penalty on us. That's what's killing. We, we've had three huge penalties already in this one. That would have been fourth down. There's another defensive holding penalty. Or is that the same? That may have been the same play. Second goal. And we're going to be down 14 to 6 here. Yes, we are. Second five. Day back to pass. Completes it for a first down. Third and 11. Uh, yeah, I guess we'll punt. Thought about going for it for a second, but... Uh, 
see if we can force a turnover or a three and out. Get the ball back, third and six. If you remember, one of the things that uh, that led us to one of our early season victories was a play just like that, a stoppage inside the 10, and then we had a punt return, right? So, you know, kind of hoping for, for you know, a big defensive play or something. I saw first and goal, so is this a big run for us? It looks like it is. Joseph Bolin. Bust this one out. First and goal on the 10. Second and goal on the 10. Run to the left. Third and goal. Ugh. All right, we'll kick another field goal. If I had gotten down to the one or two, I probably would have gone for it, but they're getting touchdowns. We're getting field goals. That is not a good way to... Uh, to win a football game. Three, second, and seven. Run to the left. Third and six. Fumble recovered by them. Pass is incomplete. All right, so we stop them again. We need a touchdown, though, right? We need to get in the end zone. Not a good punt for them. Another good punt return for us. Did we get in the end zone? We're down to the 12. First, I think we're in. Guys, I think we're in. Day back to pass completes a touchdown Eagles. Let's go. Day to Taylor. So we are up 15 to 14. So we're going to go for two here. See if we can get the two-point conversion. We do. Cool. So we're up 17-14. Probably too early to go for two, chasing points a little bit, but gives us a three-point lead. Second and six. Third and five. Pick up the first down. Second and two, and I think they got a touch. Oh, they attempted a 56-yard field goal as the half expired, and he made it. And they get the ball back to start the side. So they kicked a 56-yard field goal at the half. Uh, there's... So that is the end of the first half. We gave up 152 yards. We had 164 of our own. Day was 8 of 14 for 67 yards and a touchdown. Went was 11 of 12. We could not stop the uh, passing game, at least from a completion standpoint. Bowling 13 for 79. No sacks, no forced fumbles, no interceptions. Pretty clean game offensively on both sides. 17-17 so going into halftime. Can we stop them here on their first possession? Six, second, four. Third and one. Pass play to the tight end. Another six yard gain. Too many minutes. So we, yeah, these penalties are killing us, man. Absolutely killing us. Another. So we had a horse collar tackle followed by a neutral zone infraction, and that puts him on the 13. First and goal. Can we hold him to three at least? It's first and goal, so we committed another penalty. I see something. Nine for 80 already. All right. Well, it didn't take long for them to respond. We had a couple of good defensive possessions, but uh, we weren't able to do anything. Well, we weren't able to stop them that time. Looks like we're going to give the ball right back. Incomplete pass. No yard, zero yard gain. One yard run on third and 10, and we punt it right back to them. They get a 
great return. And we're going to be down two touchdowns here in just a minute, guys. Well, I thought maybe when we were up 17 to 14 that there would be a shot as, uh, you know, things were looking okay defensively. But uh, two quick touchdowns here in the second half is... Put us in a hole. We missed the extra point, it looks like. <sighs> Keep driving, see if we can get a touchdown here. Hopefully that missed extra point will come back to haunt them. A third and ten, fourth and third. So incomplete, incomplete sack. Cool. Now they're just running over us. All right, so we stuck with them in the first half. And in the second half, things fall apart. Looks like we're at least holding them to a field goal attempt here. Yep. Special teams, field goal defense. And we got to score two touchdowns here in the fourth quarter and get two two-point conversions. Don't suspect that's going to happen, but you never know, I guess. Taunting penalty, that gets us a little closer. We get an eight-yard gain and attack on 15. On the 35, run to the right. Sweep left. Option sweep left. There's the pitch in the first down. Second and four. No. We're not kicking a field goal. We're going for it on fourth down. And I think we get in. Yes, we do. So it's 33. So if we kick it, it would be 33 to 24. That puts us down nine. We got to go for two, right? Yeah, we got to go for two. We made it. Okay. So we're down eight. We got to stop them here, get the ball back, and then go in, score another touchdown, get another two-point conversion. We got to stop them first. Throws it away. Second and 10. And either they scored a touchdown or we did. And it looks like they did. So much for stopping them and getting the ball back. And offensively, we weren't terrible in this one. We just couldn't do anything defensively. Committed way too many penalties in that first half.
I mean, running the ball when you're down 15 in the fourth isn't exactly what I would do to, you know, try to get back into it, but it's working for us. We got to go for it. We get it more. Three timeouts, and there is 232 left. All right, so we get the touchdown. We kick the extra point. We're down 40 to 32 with 204 left. I think we go regular kickoff here because we still have all three timeouts. Cup five, call timeout, and they get the first down. That is the end of the game right there. <sighs> timeout, not that it matters. Timeout, not that it matters. I should just be doing QB kneels at this point, right? Is that the end of the game? It is. All right. So we lose another one. It drops us to five and six or whatever. Five and seven. Five and seven. So Day had a good, good, had an okay game. He was eighteen to thirty-one, but threw two touchdowns. Bowling with a good game. All right. I mean, I guess we sim to the end of the season. See what our, uh, see what our um, recruiting rank is, and I don't know. Maybe I don't. Know. I really want to keep, I mean, we're 24th right now, but do I really want to keep going? Tim Blake has got some interest. Hargrove all of a sudden now has scholarship offers. And we wanted Ricky Hop, right? I don't think we get a bowl game at five and seven, do we? I mean, I guess we'll see. We beat a top 25 team. Yeah, so nobody commits to us this week. Hargrove still only has two offers. Blake still just has ours. So Dela Cruz, we don't need him. Navarrete. Row Bear, we can hide both of them. Let's make sure that we're. Targets. Nine, so yeah, our class ranks all of a sudden down to 33. And that's just players that, uh, you know, as other teams sign better players. Lynn Forsyth. I mean, sure, let's go for it. be enough. Let's see what happens. 
Yeah, it just sort of, you know, maybe we make a bowl game and maybe it makes a difference, but I don't, I mean, we beat a top 25 team. So we'll see what happens here after the conference championship games. We signed Tim Blake. I mean, that's not bad. So Hop and Hargrove both went elsewhere. They both went to Illinois schools. Interesting. That's kind of a bummer. Recruiting class is 45th right now. Twelve scholarships remaining. Are there any QBs that like his ratings? Or at least the ratings that we have on him. Like that. Joseph Kerr. I don't like any of that. Uh, targets. We don't have any targets. We got a whole bunch of three-star players. We did get Bachter, which I liked. The B-plus speed, B-hands. I mean, he could be okay. We, di we didn't get any four-star players at all. Um, But that's not going to happen, given the way our team is put together right now. So... We already looked at Beeman. Craig, sure. I don't think it matters. I think we're past that point, right? I don't think we can recruit anymore. But yeah, week 15 is that last week, I think. So let's see if we get a bowl game. I, I don't think we're going to, given that we finished the season 0-6 or whatever. Wow, we do. We make the Las Vegas Bowl against Maryland. Okay. All right. Team with a losing record. I guess if Craig went to Western Kentucky. Very satisfied with this opportunity. Okay. All right. So we make a bowl game. So you guys are going to get two games in this episode. So we will see how it goes. Let's play this game against the Terps. Come in here first. Mute sounds. Now let's play the game. They defer. All right. Can we win our bowl? If we can win a bowl game, I will keep going. If I can win a bowl game this season, I will. Uh, we'll go through another year and we'll see how it goes. So. Big run by Bolin right off the bat. I would really like them to just just keep handing the ball off, run the run the option with this quarterback. Pass only when necessary. Cuz this is what happens when you pass when it's unnecessary. It's third and 12. Fourth and 7 on the 35. I'm going to go for it. I am going to go for it here. Let's run skinny posts. All right. Well, we didn't get it. and That's fine. <laughs> but on the 35, I don't want to punt because ultimately it's going to end up in the end zone and we're going to gain like 15 yards of, of, uh, oh, we got a fumble return, a fumble recovered by McCullough. Let me get the ball right back. There's a run to the left. Bolin picks up three. Second and six. Pass is complete. Third and one. Hand, up, hand off up the middle. First and goal. Run to the right. Second and goal. Day back to pass. Incomplete. Third and goal. How close are we going to be? Oh, fourth and goal. We lose a couple yards. Kick the field goal and we're up three nothing the 
Big pass play to the fullback. First and 10. Back to pass and sack by Anthony Roden. Second and 16. It's the same play. Oh, no, we get an interception this time. Pantoja, so two turnovers here in the first quarter. We need to take advantage of this. We need six on this uh, on this possession. Pass complete to Mclemore for nine. Face mask penalty. We'll take that. First and ten on the thirteen. Pass is complete for five. Second and five. Right gains nothing. Third and five. And I think we got a touchdown, guys. Day back to pass. Completes it to the tight end. Smith in for the touchdown. And that puts us up 10-0. A couple of turnovers here by Maryland in the first quarter. Pass is incomplete. Second and 10. Another big pass play to the fullback. And a big pass play there, and all of a sudden they are at our 29. That didn't take long. Thrown away there, second and 10. <clears throat> Third and 10. Fourth and 10. Cool. Teams, field goal defense, miss it. Miss it. We made it. All right. 10 3 in the second. Day completes it. Second and two. First down. Stop passing the ball, man. Run. Third and 16. You run it on third and 16. Pass is complete. We get the first down on third and long. Wow. Picks up nothing on first. Incomplete on second. Interception the other way for a touchdown. I thought I saw the little dashes at the bottom that meant somebody scored. I was hoping it was me, but nope. <sighs> All right, well, we give it right back. Third and four. Complete holding on us, of course. Fourth and fourteen. So this is this this went the wrong way in a hurry, right? We were up ten nothing. All we had to do was was uh, if they missed the field goal, we get the ball back. They kick the field goal. We throw a turnover. We we throw a pick six, and now they have the ball back with a chance to take the lead here. A big run for a first down, and they're starting to chew us up defensively here a little bit. Second and three. Third and three. We stop him. Ken. All right. Special teams. Turn. And this is why I want to just run the ball. I just want to run, 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 run. Yet, unsportsmanlike. I mean, I'll take the 15 yard unsportsmanlike, but I still. With a freshman quarterback and a pretty good running game, we really should be looking at RPOs and running the option. That should be what we're doing almost all the time. <sighs> we got to pump that. If we were about 10 yards further up the field, I would have considered going for it. Second and five. Runs to the left. First down and a taunting penalty on us. Thrown away. 
Get him this time, Manuel Leonard, third and long. Third and even longer with the false start. Interception, almost, and Pantoja takes it to the... the t No, we're not, no. Stop it. <laughs> we're not throwing a deep out to the tight end on... First and goal from the two. We're going to get in that way. Joseph Valentine gets us in. So we're up seven. So it's three, it's three turnovers by them. And really, that's how we win games. That's how we were winning games earlier in the season was turning, uh, turning the opposition over. Here we have a fumble and two picks. It's second down now. Run to the left. He picks up the first. Seven. Can we keep them off the board here in the first half? Minute 23. Because they get the ball to start the second half. So I don't want one of those, you know, score and then on the other end, score again. Fourth and three. <clears throat> so we should be able to run the clock out here in the first half. Call timeout. I don't have any idea. Third and inches. Oh, that's the end of the half. Okay. So we go to halftime up 17 to 10. They have 109 yards of offense. We have 116. The quarterback is 3 of 14 for 61 yards and two picks. Day 9 of 16, 63. I just need a quarterback doing a great job. Uh, Stapleton had three carries for 26 yards. Bolin, 14 for 43. Cortez Taylor, four catches. Uh, we had a sack from Roden, sack from Leonard. Forced fumble from Holt. Recovery by McCullough. Two picks by Pantoja. So it is the defense getting it done for us here in the first half. Three turnovers. Three takeaways. First play of the second half. Is a big play to their wide receiver. Wow, inside the 30, inside the 20, inside the 10. First and 10 on the 11. Pass is incomplete. Second and 10. Third and 10. Can we hold them to three? I'm going to run it on third and 10. We stop them off sides. It's a third and goal on the five now. And he gets in. Uh, well, that stinks. First and 10 on the 25. Second and nine. Day back to pass. Completes it. First down to Fitzsimmons. Leads it to Fitzsimmons again, second and three. Another completed pass to Taylor for 11 yards. Face mask penalty, we will take that for sure. Second and 10. Third and seven. Ugh. All right, so we're on the 31. No, I'm kicking a field goal. It's a 48-yard field goal. Benavides can make that. All right, so we go back up by three. Need another turnover here. Need another turnover or just a stop. All of a sudden, in the second half, their passing game is elite. It was 3 of 14 passing in the first half, and he's been Pat Mahomes here in the second. Yep, another big play. Incomplete, second and 10. 
incomplete third and 10. Ooh, almost got to him. Incomplete fourth and 10. Miss it. Miss it. Made it. 20 to 20. Good return out to the 35. Dolan picks up six, second and four. Neutral zone infraction. That's a first down. Two. Pass is incomplete. Third and eight. Incomplete fourth and eight. All right, can we pin them? Or is it going to be a touchback? It's going to be a touchback. Second down and five. Second and ten. They get the false start called on them. Sack him. Get another big play to another wide receiver. Yeah, we haven't been able to stop the passing game here in the second half. It's pretty. Uh, it's a pretty drastic turnaround from the first half. Third and seven. Fourth and seven. So we do stop them that time. We get a good punt return here. Let's get a good punt return. We get no punt return. Second and in inches, false start. It's now second and six. Pick up a yard. All right, first down there. Second and nine. Third and nine. Punt it. <laughs> oh, that's not a good punt. Well, they certainly flipped the field here. Are they going to get a big play? They are. Yeah, we haven't been able to stop the passing game at all here in the second half. I don't get it. They get a big run here, and Maryland's about to take the lead, guys. Unless we can get another turnover. And we do, <laughs> just as I say that. Huge turnover. That one was needed. Second and six. Third and six. But our offense is stagnated here in the, they want me to go for it on fourth and four. No. Our offense has stagnated for sure here in the fourth quarter. Good punt, though. And we only have three points here in the second half. Looks like they're going to get another big play to a wide receiver. Yep. Back to pass. We get another sack by Noak. Second and 18. Third and 14. Stop him. All right, fourth and three. Ugh. All right, so we have to go 80-ish yards here. We pick up about 15 there, first and 10. Down to the left for six, second and four. Third and one. Ugh. Okay, what do we do? It's fourth and two. 617 left. We're going to go for it. It's probably a terrible idea. Did we get it? Oh, we got it. Oof. Just barely. Big pass completion there inside the 45, first and 10. Another big pass completion, second and inches. 
first down. Up the middle with the fullback for six, second and four. There's another first down to the 11. And off the Bolin, second and seven. Incomplete third and seven. Complete fourth and seven. Okay, how much time is left? A minute 19. Wow, we killed like five minutes of the clock there. We make the field goal. All right. We got to hold them for a minute. They pick up seven, second and three. Back to pass. Incomplete third and three. Complete to the fullback, first and 10, 47 seconds left. Incomplete, second and 10. I'm nervous, guys. Incomplete, third and 10. Incomplete, fourth and 10. Do we hold them or do they get the first? We hold them. Guys, we're going to win our first ever bowl game. 11 years in the making. The Boston College Eagles have finally broken through. We still ended up with a losing record. We were 6 and 7, but we are Las Vegas Bowl champions. Let's go. Day through for 90 yards. Yeah, this game was all about the defense. Uh we turned them over four times and that was really the difference. They outgained us. I mean, their quarterback was elite in that second half. But uh, turn the ball over four times, and we manage to win. We get sacks from Sandlin, Nowak, and Roden. Forced fumbles from Holt and Sandlin. Fumble recoveries from McCullough and Sandlin. Two picks for Pantoja. And we are bowl champions. I don't care what, I don't care that it was the Las Vegas Bowl, but we won a bowl. We won a bowl, guys. And. Uh, we're going to keep going because I want a bowl. We are going to keep going. Hopefully that'll do some, some good for our, uh, our prestige. Um, we had two players make the all conference team and we win the, uh, we win a bowl game. We win a bowl game, finish season six and seven, but, uh, a bowl win is a bowl win is a bowl win. I will take it. Six and seven, yeah. If <laughs> we won a bowl game, uh, that works for me. Um, and we got a lot of three-star recruits. Um, we're probably going to be looking at um, not a great recruiting class because we're down to 68th overall. Yeah, we were able to sign a lot of the players that we went after, but um, not much else, really, you know, to, to, to be honest. So... We'll see what the uh, the transfer portal has for us, but uh, that's the end of a very long episode, guys. Well, maybe not a very long episode. It took about an hour, but we won a bowl game, and we will continue. So, yeah, I ho I'm hopeful. Hopeful is the key word. I'll talk to everybody soon. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.